I made a vow right at the beginning that whatever I'm doing, even if it's a scientific paper, I will not resort to jargon. And storytelling, I think, is in my blood. There's no point confronting them, arguing with them, pointing fingers, telling them they're bad or stupid. Tell them stories. I feel it's important to reach the heart, to let people feel. Because if you want change, people must change from within. think that science is all about facts and logic and human feelings are often neglected or considered an obstacle to get rid of and that's actually what I want to talk about today emotion that emotions are as important in science as they are in any other part of our lives. And even human consciousness generally, it's just a tiny region in a vast space of possible consciousnesses.
sense of understanding comes a greater sense of wonder and a greater realization that we are part of and not apart from the rest of nature. Making computers smarter is not going to make them sentient. What it means to be me cannot be reduced to or uploaded to a software program running on a robot, however smart or sophisticated. We are biological flesh and blood animals whose conscious experiences are shaped at all levels by the biological mechanisms that keep us alive. The brain doesn't hear sound or see light. What we perceive is its best guess of what's out there in the world. integrity, honesty, decency, and virtue. We all fall short. The Beckett is right. Try again, fail again, fail better. Try again, fail again, fail better. Before you go to the worms. And he raised those four questions. How shall integrity face oppression? What does honesty do in the face of deception? What does decency do in the face of insult and how does virtue 